Angi togo zengi mbusele, ngin bingi lele no, ngin nabatande gayo. It's me again. Yes, it's me again. Koko matapelo, otherwise known as Baba Nyoga, o koko mkulu gomo. Um, currently in the south of Johannesburg. Alright, today we are starting with the spirits. As you can see, I'm in my Nguni gear, indicating that we are starting with the Nguni spirits. You guys have been asking me for a long time please to explain uh, the spirits that's because some of you are preparing to trust us some of you are trust our ring some of you have been told you have a gift and you got a lot of questions who's who in the zoo what's going on okay so we've covered a lot of uh, istunia and, and we'll continue to cover a lot of istunia uh, because as you know i am a double exozo meaning i am doubly gifted doubly 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 and uh, a lot of inyangas will be doubly gifted um, uh, because of the church revival in the 1950s. A lot. Not all, but a lot. <coughs> so today we cover Mguni. And let me tell you, it was a quite a thing to convince my, 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 my elders to do this series and it's a fight still only because um of the sensitivity and the kind of secrecy behind uh, ubungoma so i will be very careful in terms of what i reveal and what i do not reveal that is my condition towards them or between the two of the four the six the eight the ten of us and um yeah so we start with the series or the, we start the series off with the topic yabanguni and um right so under the umbrella yabanguni we find uh, your zulus your kosas your tongas your develes your swatis etc and uh, that will cover the southern hemispheres uh, 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 being um, uh, Zim being um, also going up to Malawi, also going up to Tanzania, also going up to Zambia. Um, and that is because of King Daba uh, Makeba, uh, who was the king of the Zulus. He must have been born somewhere in um i'll check was it 1921 1721 some of guys he's old okay so king mageba uh, transitioned or made his way up to tanzania because of the wars coming from the southern hemisphere or the southern or southern africa and obviously he then spread or his descendants started to spread in those areas as well and that is why <clears throat> mongunis ongonis are covered in those areas as well ngonis will be a term that is similar to mguni in those areas but meaning the same thing we are under the same umbrella as descendants zabanguni <clears throat> your mguni spirit uh, mguni spirit is uh, mostly mistaken to be always a blood ancestor and it's not the case uh, it's not always the case, but I will say that predominantly you will find that the first ancestor or the first Mguni will be blood related. That can be a great aunt, an aunt, an uncle, a grandmother, a great grandmother, Ukoko, and it can go to the ninth generation. It does not matter. You can be driven by someone who died uh, 20 years ago. You can be driven by someone who died. Before you were born, you can be driven by somebody who died and no one who is living has the knowledge of that person. Yomguni also can be a figure that didn't twice while they were still alive. It can't be, it can be a, a figure that was staunch against Africanism or African tradition or traditional medicine or Wunyanga altogether. And that is because, guys, as I always mention when we talk about Istunya, uh, these figures are people that are living in life they choose a lifestyle they also choose a belief system that will carry them through their adulthood until it is that they meet with their maker on the other side the other side is completely different there are no choices like here 
it is what it is the other side is actually the truth and not this virtual reality we are living in now uh, so as Lozi takes up to two years to learn the ropes and to learn what it is um, to be alive and what it is to be deceased what it is to be a spirit and how they affect this world and uh, all the laws of that realm as well so umuntu uyashinta no mastukshonu mawako my fear that go you can find that there are some changes in her uh, but there's that familiar spirit that familiar love and affection from them but it was Shinja when they cross over due to the fact that um they learn uh, to be spirit and they learn how it is to be spirit they learn the laws they learn the truth <clears throat> So it can be that your Coco is coming out to be your Mguni uh, in your initiation and your Coco used to attend the Roman Catholic Church. It is very possible. And your Coco didn't see some people and your Coco never um, twisted and your Coco never believed in such. It is what it is, you guys. And sometimes you can get a very ancient Rosie that no one in the family knows. He can introduce himself as have been a chief. Uh, 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 as being a warrior back in those days in his tribe um, and that will be done in a ceremony during your initiation where we try and extract this lozi from you to find out why they've brought you to initiate them what it is they want they like and we ask for a name as well as a background so that we know who it is that we are initiating okay so that is Umguni. Umguni can also be Ilozi, Lasekayeni. And what that means is that um, you, your family, let's say your family has a farm. And then in the farm, uh, your great grandfather hired a worker. This worker used to look after the cows. This worker is someone that came from farm. Maybe they traveled from Lesotho and then uh, they came to work for your great grandfather. Uh, in the Eastern Cape and uh, what then happened is that that person became part of the family they never went home when they died they died at your house or at your great-grandfather's house and they became meaning that person can be an active participant or an active ancestor in you and can come out and ask for you to have their work done they can choose anyone in the family to do this. Anyone that they feel can execute their work the way that it needs to be done. Finish. No drama. No wahala. Uh, and uh, most of us will have umguni. Uh, meaning you can be Sutu speaking. You can be Peri speaking. Uh, you can be Kosta speaking. And you will have umguni. Uh, that will drive you to umguni initiation. Uh, instead or as a part or as <clears throat> apart from your uh, blood and twasso, right? Uh, that can be itonge limshope, that can be your pedi ndwasos, ex malopo, etc, etc. So it is very, very possible. These ancestors, when they come out, they'll come out speaking a Nguni language, even though the person is Sutu speaking or Bedi speaking or Africans or colored or whatever the case may be. And this is because, guys, in our lineage, you can confirm maybe four generations to so say, okay, they were Sutu, 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 Sutu. And then apparently our great, 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 great grandmother um, uh, had a child with a white man uh, and then when uh, you go and um, identify as white, but behind you are Sutus or behind you are Shonas or behind you are Kosas, you can't confirm your lineage due to the fact that people are no longer alive uh, to retell their stories or their history. And uh, sometimes these stories were kept secret. And sometimes um, you just find a lineage that is dispersed. Uh, someone can have been adopted. Someone can have been lost, been stolen, been kidnapped when they were young and they don't know umland or sekaya ugepi and even if your great grandmother is still alive she can't confirm that there are Indians back there or there are Chinese back there or there are Zongas back there uh, or there are vendors back there etc etc and so that is why it's very possible for uh, someone who is another native language to have a Mguni spirit a Mguni will never travel alone Mguni um, will always go with a um, Mdawe 
and have other spirits as well but Nguni will always have a water and sister companion which is all down <coughs> which is the water spirit the reason why your ancestors will ask you to trust her is because they need to heal or they need to work out what they should have worked out on this living earth and that is why they will demand for a person to trust her and um as we grow them as we trust her as we work they get wings they get access to certain things they get powers they get uh, forgiven for certain things uh, they get healed from certain things uh, that they hone from this life uh, having crossed over into the next life hey. Okay, um, all right, so these different spirits or ancestors, um, have different drums, have different songs that evoke them, that they relate to, that belong to them. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example of one sort of Nguni drum and song. Hey, I call him Bube, oh, Langa Bezani, hey, Langa Bezani, I call him Bube, oh, Langa Bezani, hey, Langa Bezani, I call him Bube, oh, Langa Bezani, hey, It's very nice when other people are here. But Langa Bezani, Langa Bezani. I see many. Before I jam, hey, before I jam. Um, so as we go through the particular spirit, um, way impossible, we'll try and introduce the drums and this sort of singing. <laughs> that is different as opposed to Ndawe uh, for instance Umguni Idlozi Elikala Likite Lisheli Pansi and that will be like we are Kondla and then this is where we start until the Lozi is grown to Gita with the feet of which there are different types of um Nguni singing, Nguni drum, and Nguni step, but it is definitely on the feet eventually, also depending on the kind of mpande. I've noticed that other mpandes go straight to ukita on the feet, where in my particular mpande, uh, ikita uh, from the ground, which is representing that the rosy is still a baby, and then when it gets matured, it cannot be introduced to ukita on the feet which is traditional dancing on the feet you get this bush you get this nguni and you get all sorts of um variations to the drum the singing and the step according to the area name and okay so uh wherein you find uh, the amaskral pretoria uh kind of um areas you get it whole different type uh, of beat and step um, and you will get a different type of beat and step that uh, is coming from um, 
that is coming from Zimbabwe, you get a different beat and step. From Eswatini, you get a different uh, beat and step. In Giani, you get... So it varies because obviously now a, a bit of cultural influence is um, influencing how they dance and step. And sometimes it is just a Lozi's preference right and that is why you won't find us singing the same things um this mpande that i represent at the moment is coming from swati descendants and a lot of the songs will be swati like he, uh, this one is saying the line was roaring you use some of the terminology like imbube which is a lion which is ibubesi in isizulu um which is Gwenyama in Isikosa but Mbube because our abokoko abakala limpande amaswat okay and so that is why Nyeti things will vary from area to area. Umguni is a spirit that um deals ngokuhlola nokwela pha ngemithi yesinguni so they are uh, traditional medications that belong to the Mguni spirits then uh, the Mguni spirit, I should have brought my squama, my bones, but I didn't. Just to show you, but it's squama, that will be your sack of bones to shola <coughs> or to divine. Why am I? <coughs> or to divine uh, or to tell a person's problem so that we can diagnose them and heal them. I might not make it through the whole video, guys. Um, okay, let's try smoking some snake. So, Umguni uh, generally deals with Ubuhrola, deals with healing using Umguni trees, Umguni medications. Um, whereas you find that Umdawe will not have Iskwama. Ooh, and they deal with Ukufemba. So, we will cover more of them that way in the next uh, section. So, sometimes Mguni will have certain symptoms like making people's feet hot, sweaty palms, a change in temperature, high and low and high and low some people will have experiences of nguni sitting directly in the gut that was up i'm fine how are you Yes, no, I did. I did get it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Um, sorry for that, guys. So they deal with clola, they deal with squama, and uh, in terms of uh, ailments, look, it is a live debate uh, between healers uh, that umguni doesn't cause catastrophe but i'd like to disagree and uh, many people highlight uh, ailments being caused mostly by umda with the water spirits okay so umguni will be the individual or individuals that are sending you to twasa it can be one it can be plural it can be from maternal and it can be from paternal or it can be a singular from maternal or a singular from sorry i didn't mean that or it can be a singular from paternal uh, it can be two from maternal can be three from paternal you can have a lot of people and you can have a lot of um, uh, ancestors in, in you uh, during the Ntwaso period they can uh, be a manifestation of one and then you find you come out of Ntwaso and then others come out 
Uh, for instance, with me, I had two ancestors that came out. I have Baba Nyoga that is from my paternal side. And I have Gogom Kulu, which is my grand and grandfather on my maternal side, uh, being Gogom Kulu Nkomo. Uh, <coughs> and you can get five within Twaso or one within Twaso, and then thereafter they'll just keep coming out. But the lead Lozi or the lead Mguni will be the one that identifies or manifests first in your Ndwaso. Thinking in a congo and because I'm bad, I can't tell lies, so I don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, uh, right, uh, and then I umgoni. Uh, can direct a person where they want to be initiated uh, through many many things i heard something very stupid from some some lady yesterday um and uh, she was of the opinion that you gotta wait uh on ilozi to direct you with dreams and uh, that's the only way that you can get your gorilla and uh, look, guys, I will say that Uxeven Zangabant has, has taught me more about Ildozi than hearsay uh, because I've seen these things happen to people live. Uh, I've also been in a position that, from personal experience as well, um, I've met people at a very old age that um, have had misfortunes before them, one after the other, due to the fact that they were waiting for this iconic dream. That needs to come a dream absolutely can direct you to your govela or where you need to initiate but it's not the only way uh, guys and this is because we've learned that ilozim is not a singular we are not talking about one person amadlozi they are a group of individuals uh, we only refer to them as plural all the time because we can't we can't identify uh, one by one and we want to be all inclusive because of that fact um, sometimes guys you find that about Rosuako, your gift bearers they came together uh, when you came into puberty example and they said listen we've seen a certain lady in Swaziland that we want her to trust us, our child you have these dreams of being in this foreign land all the time then because they've decided they want to send you to Swaziland to this particular person. You dream of this lady, you dream of this lady, you get there, the lady is dead. What now do we do? It is very possible and has happened before. Sometimes it happens that Ildozilako likete umund wampupa umund wampupa uh, to the very last detail of your ndwaso and you get there and the person is an absolute monster and it can happen that Amadlozi had chosen this person pre on ndwaso maybe in your in your you were two or you were just getting born at the time the person is alive but the person has changed meaning i can i can i can have the right skill set the way your losses want me to trust this are you Tomorrow I go to Mozambique and I buy Utigoloshi Ugu Kendra so that I can move up quickly in life, meaning to <laughs> meaning I can make the decision to change to use dark magics in terms of attracting wealth, etc. Now you get to my Ndwaso and I am a monster. And you'll ask yourself, why would the Rosies do this? Because I was really shown this person. Ten years I've been dreaming about this person. I finally get here and they're a monster. People are capable of change. And as much as Amad Rosie, they are sisters and they are senior to us. They also need the assistance of the living. Third thing is that you can find Amad Rosie not knowing or not being able to agree on one thing. Your gift bearers, they get together, they argue about this fact that 
well we don't know i prefer kumalo and then another one says well i prefer lamini and that is when sometimes you get people dreaming of more than one kobela um uh, i think that at the maybe at the end of the series i will go through how you can assist your your ancestors in terms of finding a facilitator if it is that you are not meant to be self-initiated uh, dreams and visions are a huge factor in terms of choosing uh, our cobelas or getting to our cobelas but we can choose our cobelas in a in a situation wherein the the people that they already chose perhaps are deceased or perhaps we are not finding them and you find that your things in life they are depreciating I have met a lot of people that got into accidents, nearly got um, killed, have a lot of misfortunes that befall them every year, every month, and wherever they go, they are being told, hey, in fact, you need to go into us. And it is because this particular person or patient is waiting for this iconic dream to come true. And at that point in time, these spirits are very impatient. Uh, as I've mentioned before, that the Mguni spirit cannot be alone. Uh, Amanda, where the water spirits are senior or they are more majestic than your Mgunis and they are the ones that cause a financial, especially financial um, disasters or a stagnancy in a person's life. Bavala yongindo, and that is why we say umdawe wako carries iskwama sako, meaning not your actual squama, but it carries umsebenti wako elotini ngoba. Uh, they are the ones that is it, they are the ones that open uh, finances for a healer um, and uh, that is when you'll find things like losing your job losing monies not being able to attract good opportunities or to keep or sustain good uh, opportunities when you've got umdawe umdawe can cause uh, quite a lot of uh, disaster so since we have no mguni uh, you can't say we can maybe tell with the ailments that uh, okay i've got hot feet my feet get overly hot they get swollen that okay um guni is somewhat involved hey, God, i lost my job i lost everything then we know so both of them can cause uh, these ailments or these symptoms in my opinion but a lot of times when it's financial a uh, trouble that is very much your water spirits ibona bavula indlela yakho eh yemali as inyanga but uh, i think i'll lean more on that when we go into a uh, yumdawe spirits so umguni will have its particular bias that have their particular meanings general meanings and then you get also meanings that are personal to the mgunis abakpete uh, as you can see today i am wearing uh, my mguni beads your mguni beads uh, will have a lot of color where in your mdawe beads are predominantly white and red uh, so as you can see these are mixed naman I always forget the speed. Uh, but this is the blue, this is the white with the blue stripe. It's mixed to represent umguni. You can also see in Fisozami are uh, mixed colors because umguni has always been colorful. You can see um, when we are having imigiti, some of them will come out with colorful head pieces because umguni is a very colorful spirit. So Uzana Mabala Bala, we're in a, a very good or dominant color when it comes to ndawe is red 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 and red and white and uh, representing ikazi la mandawe when it comes to ndawe is red 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 and uh, uh, representing ikazi la mandawe so a lot of uniforms are now misunderstood like the red skirt uh, originally from swati initiation that was representing uh, the blood yamanda with the blood of the water spirits um so i have on my snake by today this is one of your mgoni buys uh, at the back you see there's a lion by so all of these buys is in yamazana they are representing a uh, abenguni uh, your leopards your lions your chickens your goats your bulls 
your elephants, your snakes, they will have different meanings and I'm pretty sure that will need a video on its own. And again, guys, these meanings are very, very uh, general. But we always suggest that if you are dreaming of a particular buy, you need to go and partner on it and ask the owner of that buy or the owner of the person that's asking you to buy that uh, buy and what is its function in your own life personally as an individual apart from these general uh, meanings okay my snake by is representing my lineage uh, of people of royalty and uh, i really am a snake girl i don't like them in real life but they represent a lot of my lineage, um, both maternal and paternal. And so, uh, in terms of their ancestral representation in my life, this particular bai for me will represent a very speedy and protective ancestor. Um, and the one at the back will represent a royal ancestor, uh, a protector and a people of war. Uh, as well um so for me that is what they represent because money is partly like that is what i was told uh, generally it will be protectors it can be people from royalty and uh, it can be um people of war uh, as well uh, generally this can be a speedy ancestor also uh, a very quick one quick to fight very quick very quick to fight um so those are the buys any animal print on the buy is representing umguni of course color by color they will do uh, 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 they will be differentiated oh. mm -mm. I was at the room with my brother the other day and I saw white people and I was like, no, I haven't seen white people in such a long time. And it hit me that, guys, I have not seen white people in a year or more. I am very shocked. So now it means that I'm not using English a lot. Yabo? So the thing with English is that you need to use it a lot so that you don't forget. It's loom. Maunga kul miss loom is katis ning. We are called uh, so it's like my bundles are running out during my lack of interaction with the Caucasian community. Uh, all right, um, last is the animal Yomguni will be a goat. Ne? In whatever ceremony that is done, Yabangoma, you'll see that we use a goat. We can have a uh, different sort of initiates that will use different animals as per their lineage. So as per my lineage, I can say we use sheep example. But when I initiate as a Sangoma, a goat will be used because a goat is a huge communicator. Yabenguni to them guni spirit that is the animal we use to appease them to communicate to evoke the spirits and to please the spirits um, so it is a huge representative of the guni spirit the goat so in any guni ceremony or when we are talking about the guni spirit we will use a goat no matter if you are sutu or you are zulu or you use what animal at home but that it's a big communicator uh, for our ancestors or to reach our Mguni ancestors and to appease them. So in a lot of Mguni um, ceremonies, you'll find us using, you'll find us using a code. And um, so that's your Mguni spirit uh, covered. The last thing will be that the Mguni in order of ancestors will be the first to be initiated um, and then Yomdawe will follow. That is because Umdawe, Uye no Balegile, Umdawe is the king uh, between these two spirits and that is why si Umdawe. we will end with the Mdawe spirit which is the water spirit. Um, I hope that was informative uh, and I hope that you learned something today. 
uh, that will assist you in getting knowledge of what is happening to you when you trust her or what is going to who are you trusting for and who are these Nguni spirits um, Nguni spirit is also a spirit that is um, uh, your original spirit even when it comes to it's Tunya Sako so it's Tunya Sako it means that it started as a Nguni due to the conversions that happened in the 1950s some of those Ngunis had to convert and be uh, is to you due to the duress of the white uh, government at the time uh, so is to is to you that has been transformed into is to you uh, because of the uh, 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 the policies of the time that were not allowing sangomas to practice freely uh, due to the change in governments and due to coloni colonization etc etc uh, but we cannot do that we cannot invert these other uh, uh, spirits like e, e amandawe we can do so we it has been done ngabelozi and it has been done ngamanguni uh, yes so i think uh, up as far as i am concerned uh, that is the Mguni spirit if ever there are any questions you can leave them under the comments and I will try and get to them and then we will follow up with our Mdawe spirit for our Mdawe series let me tell you something you know the only reason why I negotiated with my ancestors to do this series was because um, upon interacting with a lot of people that have twasad they still have no idea what it is they went to go and twasa for what uh, for who who are these spirits what do they mean etc and so Mrs. Anani so that you are able to get to know what's happening inside you and why uh, certain things were done to you in Dwaso of course I can't specify those uh, but um, yes that is the gist of Mguni and I hope that it was very hopeful I will see you the, the next time and uh, take care Nishali matolo eni ni pasle ni tanda zoe. Mwana wa watu anezinjeve, nuko nuko lo futu nezinjeve. La utimu si zokona ba ya guzwa. And of course, they will come to your rescue in due time. A little patience sometimes is all that is needed. Ageti togozani nishali gashi. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.